Okay. Um, so we are familiar with this code a little bit because well, it was your homework, right? But well, some people feel um, these parts are a little bit complicated and well, they don't want to see these code these codes many times. Okay. They don't want this part because they are too complicated. So we want to clean or refactor uh, this code using um, OP. So, so there are a little bit more, more class structures here, but in this time we are going to focus on we are going to focus on um, this main function, okay? So maybe, maybe, maybe we can make, we can separate um, these gel part from this main, main, main uh, source.cpp to other class structure. So maybe we can define a new class, new item. Header file. So my um, painter, maybe to the so let's define my painter. And do something. So, um, maybe we are going to start from this part. So, we want to move this part somewhere else. Like, maybe we can define my painter to the and my painter. And maybe we want to win this. And let these simply disappear. You got it? So, okay. So we have some complicated part here. We want to replace this part into one initialized function. Well, to improve your um, code, stru code structure. So maybe we can simply cut and paste to um, this member function initialize, right? So this is a beginning point. So um, we should fix this error. So let's go up and move this one to this place. Okay. And after that, well, um, we found that well, it, it seems like that this variable is a handle to all of the window, the drawing window, your canvas, I mean. So this should be a member variable like this. All of the drawing operations should be um, on this pointer. So I moved this one to be a member variable here. And this is a pointer. This is a pointer. And we want to be safe with the pointers. So we want, we need to, well, the, the best thing we can do here is define a constructor. Define a default constructor here and assign a null pointer to the pointer. This is what we do um, for safety. Okay. Okay. So and initialize function called this part. So um, this, this part means this return minus one 
means that the main function execute um, um, ends when this failed. Okay, but this is not a main function, so we cannot return minus one. So in this case, well, in some cases, so we can do this one. Simply exit all program and this process after warning. And maybe we need to include IO stream. So if your program failed 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 to initialize GRFW window, um, not window, window is initialized here. Initial if it, if it is failed, we can notice that well something's wrong with this one. And it's going to um, end all the program because we cannot go further without this initialization. Okay, and we found one more error with n height and I well this is the width width and height of the window, so it'll be better to move from here to um, this place. Okay, so um, there are some tricks here. So the width is a constant variable and initialized as 640, right? And the same thing can same thing can be written like this way. So they are equivalent. If you want this one. So maybe you want to do this here. Okay? So remember this one. Um, this part initialize or assign a value to your memory. When this class, the, in, the, the when an instance of this class is generated in your memory. Okay. Um, so we can repeat the same thing here. So it's okay now. And this is the hello wi hello window, and this is a win we can repeat the same thing here. So maybe this GRF the terminate function um, terminates this process, but let's just repeat this one here. Um, window generation failed. Okay. And it's done. And well, let's see this part. So thi this is the main um, memory we want to draw, right? Draw on. So let's move this one to painter. Okay. And in most cases, we don't want to um, assign new memory in this way. So we simply move this one to initialize function. Initialize your canvas. Okay. remove this part and after doing this we found that this is a this is a, this is a pointer as well as this window so it will be better to assign <coughs> null pointer like this and maybe you can move this one to this place and this move this comment to this place. Hmm. 
Okay, and we called a new here, right? It means that we need to delete this memory later. So it's time to define a destructor. So my painter to the um, destructor. So let's try this one. Destructor of my painter 2D maybe so that we can see this message when this destructor was executed later and well we need to def delete this one pixels because we called um, new here in initialize part it means that we need to delete after uh, after uh, uh, before terminating um, this um, before deleting this whole instance of this class. Okay, so if pixels pointer is not null pointer, this means that this one has a memory. Okay, delete like this. Okay. Mm, and well, we have basic drawing functions here, so let's move this one as well to this place, maybe. Okay, and well, I consider the draw line is a is one of the most important primitives in your 2D drawing codes. So let's move this one to this part as well. Okay. Mm. So we can do something better with this one. Let's move. <coughs> um, we did ma many things. Okay, so let's move this one to here, maybe. Okay, we need to include my painter. Okay. So now the draw line function is defined in this class, right? So let's just to do it. We can do this. Is it working? No. Draw line is undefined. What's wrong? It is defined here. What's wrong? Okay, it's okay now, but. Well, I, I would like to recommend using the editor. So, control, uh, edit, maybe replace, some, uh, find and replace here. So, the shortcut is control H. So, we can replace this one to my painter dot draw line and replace everything here. Okay, and press F7 to build, and we are going to meet many errors here. So let's try the same thing. So Control C, Control H, Control V, and um, my painter dot H. And let's do the same thing for with us. Okay, and we also have to draw one pixel function. But maybe maybe we can move this clear background function to my painter class. Maybe. So let's do this.
Okay. And let's go down, down. Okay, so this has a problem, but you can replace this one to my painter. Dot clear background. Okay, so my painter. Uh, this is not necessary because this function is inside my painter to the class. Process seven. So window is still undeclared. So okay, in this case we can my painter dot window. Okay, we delete this one um, in this structure of my painter class. So we don't need this one. Okay, let's comment and do this in the structure of my painter to the class. Okay. Okay, let's press, let's compile and execute. So everything works fine and if you press stop then the structure of my painter 2d was called here so well we confirm that the memory is deleted before ending this process it's very important for c programmers and and maybe maybe we still believe these parts are a bit dirty as well, right? And this function uses um, my painter.window. So maybe we want to move this part to inside my painter to the class. So let's simply comment this one and um, should close. Implement pull close close. Okay. So if we move this part inside this class, then we can remove this part, this one. Because this class has a window. Instead, we should return like this. Go back here. So while my painting, my painter dot should close. Okay. Up, oh, it's not working. Um, forgot this one okay so it's working exactly same as before and maybe you can move these parts to the destructor of this one like this So, well, we feel better here. And actually, we don't need this one, okay? So, now, well, there is a comment here, loop until the user close, closes the window. But this line explains this comment, right? The, the function name explains everything should close window or something. Maybe you can rename this one to should close window. Okay. Let's preview this one. Should close, should close, should close, to should close window. So let's apply and everything works fine. So if you missed this part, then right click on it and press rename. Okay, it changes well, your um, variable name or the function name automatically. 
So it's very useful. So we don't need this comment here. Okay, so it looks much better. Right? And maybe, maybe you want to remove these, these codes as well. Well, so um, before every, every rendering, well, we need to clean. So this is a kind of pre-processing and then draw and all of these are post-processing, right? So we can simply define void pre-processing and void <coughs> post-processing. So um, my painter dot pre-processing and move these to here, okay? And let's move all of these to my painter dot post processing. So, well, so that you can um, So that you can feel better with this part. So you can do more complicated things here. You can do more here without, well, painfully reading this part or this part. It looks much better. So, yeah, we are here. Okay, what's wrong? Um, this is a warning message to um, warning. And okay, we can rem remove this one because these parts are inside this class, this my painter class now. So we can remove this one, this one, this one, this one. It looks much better, right? Oh. Um, we don't need debugger here, so stop debugging. Build, rebuild, or maybe. Okay, so it's working exactly the same before we're cleaning the code and we feel much better with this part. Okay, so this is what you should do um, as a programmer all the time in your life.